Norman Borlaug can still blow out his birthday candles. The man known as the father of the Green Revolution is 95 and still fighting to improve agricultural yields worldwide. We've got to all work together to improve the, not one crop, but all the basic crops and animal products. Surrounded by family and colleagues from Texas A&M University, where he teaches part of the year, Borlaug expressed concern about population growth and the need to produce more food. We're adding 84 million more people to the world population every year. The effort to prevent hunger through international collaboration could get a boost from a new fellowship named for Borlaug and the late Henry Beechel, who researched ways of improving rice yields. The Monsanto company is funding it. Monsanto's vice president of global plant breeding, Ted Crosby, describes the Beechel Borlaug International Scholars Program. It's aimed at providing $10 million of support for graduate student education students working on PhDs that will work in a developed country and a developing country on an important problem constraining wheat and rice yields. Former U.S. Senator George McGovern was one of the well-known people who came to Dallas for Norman Borlaug's birthday. McGovern promoted food programs while he was in Congress. Dr. Borlaug has been my hero for many years. He's done more through his science and agriculture than anyone else. And uh, this generation and generations to come are going to benefit from what he's done. At the end of the day, friends and family of the man whose work saved millions of lives celebrated his life in a more personal way. He glowed in the presence of his children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, for whom he hopes to leave a better world. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Dallas.